Well, good Sunday morning, everybody. Yeah, I was going to do a live feed, but I decided not to do so. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe I'm just lazy. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I uh, decided on not doing that. But I have a shop date for today. Um, let's say shop. I'm going to leave. I want to leave this. Yeah, leave it. There we go. Um, no, I would like, not like to participate. Who knows what this stupid stuff is popping up on my computer now. Close the program. Ugh. I hate computers. That's why I like the phone so much. Well, pardon my munching. I'm having the breakfast of champions. Cheese doodles. Not really. We already had breakfast. That's just a little uh, tied me over till lunchtime. But I've been cleaning up the bench. And, uh, yeah. It's so nice and neat now. There's nothing, no projects on the bench right now. And I'm contemplating what I'm going to do next. So, um, I thought I'd do a little update on, you know, I see a lot of you guys use these, uh, these cousin cutting mats. Um, and I don't know if you noticed mine in other videos, but they were full of paint and glue. And uh, I thought I'd give you a little heads up on cleaning them. Uh, you know, they don't last forever, but... Hey, you want a nice smooth surface to work on and clean. So, uh, I mean, I did this one this morning. And uh, the way I did it was, uh, you know, to get the paint and the glue off. A uh, box cutter razor blade. And uh, I just take it and pull it. When you run into something on the pad. Now, I got a bunch of stuff off here. It's nice and smooth now, but uh, sometimes you can see little spots like this here. You just take that edge and just rub the edge, and it'll take whatever that is right off. See, got some right here. That's probably a little paint that I missed. And just keep it as level as possible and just rub it, and it comes right off. You know, without harming your board. I mean, eventually you'll wear all these little lines off. But, hey, that's what it's made for, right? But, uh, you know, it takes... All this stuff comes right off. And, uh, you know, gives it sort of a new appearance again. Not new, but, you know, clean. Clean appearance. And then I take a little bit of mineral spirits. And that's another thing I want to talk about. Uh, and I just go over the whole board like that and... Uh, if anything is there, I just go back over it and just hit them spots again. But it cleans up a lot. So anyway, yeah, that's that's that that part of my little update. And what I wanted to go over was these here. And the price we pay for this stuff. Three dollars and forty nine cents for one and three quarters of an ounce of this brush cleaner. Well, I want to give you a heads up. You know what's in this stuff? It's nothing but pure mineral spirits, which you can buy for a gallon at Lowe's or Home Depot or your whatever hardware store you go to for like $9. So what I do, I save the jars now, eliminate that $3.49 cost every couple of weeks, and then I clean the jars out, and I refill them. So now I have an endless supply of cleaner. And you know, when you clean your brushes, if you look in there, you can see all the residue from your brushes go on the bottom. What you do is you take the clean, 
and you strain it off. And then all that black gunk that's on the bottom, you get a paper towel and stick it in there and grab one of your, your tweezers and clean that all off the bottom. Wash your jar out. And then refill it. So my plan is to get one more of these. I'll spend the extra $349 so I have four rotating jars. And, uh, yeah, good tip right there. That's a money saver because there's how many ounces to a gallon? <laughs> 64? 102? No? Let me go grab the gallon. I should know this. Let's take a run out here to the garage. Because I just bought a fresh jug of mineral spirits. One gallon. 3.7 liters. Look at that. It doesn't give you the doesn't give you the ounces anymore. But anyway, you get the odorless mineral spirits. And that's all that stuff is in there. You know? So that's what I do. Um, I will also keep a gallon of acetone handy for any other kind of paint. Like uh, if you use the uh, Krylon or stuff like that. That cleans that up real well. Because uh, mineral spirits won't take off, uh, and that's good for enamels, oil-based paints. Cleans that up real good, but it won't. Uh, it won't take care of uh, lacquers. Um, so that's uh, something you want to keep in the back of your mind there, because like all these uh, little spray jars, Model Masters, that's all lacquer, and that will not clean up with mineral spirits. You need to have lacquer thinners or, like I said, what I just showed you out there, acetone. And also, acetone, you know, you guys, you have wives home, clean their nails with nail polish remover. Acetone is what nail polish remover is. Same exact thing. The only difference is it's got a color in it. It's got like a, uh, some kind of dye to make it look pretty. So save your wives some money too. So they pay a uh, bunch of money for a few ounces of acetone, and it's the same thing. It's like, yeah, you know, the gallon is probably eighteen bucks, and you could fill up one of those four dollar jars a hundred times with it. But uh, that's that. And also, if you got paints that dry out, you know your oil based uh, testers paints. A little bit of mineral spirits in there. Stir it around. It'll bring it right back to life. I guess this is like cleaning tip Sunday. So what else do I got to say here? Let's see. I want to go out and hit uh, Walmart today. I noticed a few of you guys use um, like a planter's block to put your uh, tools in. I mean, this is nice and handy here, but I'd rather have a block here with all my stuff sticking in it. Or maybe I'll get a 2x4 and drill some holes in it, slot it, and then I can put all of these uh, tweezers in. Stick my X-Acto knives in it. Instead of having the drawer of death here. Every time I reach in there, I stick myself with something. So... What else? Let's see what else we can talk about on a Sunday. Oh, how about this? Pick this up for my son when we went to the Pirate Fest a few weeks ago. Um, actually, uh, one of the pirates up there got this for him. And uh, me and Grayson sort of picked it out together. These are hand paintings too. These things are pretty cool. Nice stuff. I'm going to get a frame for that. Frame it up. Um, and shop cards. Still got shop cards left. Um, if you don't have my shop card or you don't have Grayson's shop card. 
shoot me an email. There's the email address with your address and I'll shoot you out a card and if you have shop cards when you get mine shoot me one back to the return address and uh, Grayson would appreciate one of yours also he's got his own collection I got my own collection so yeah that's that part I uh, was up uh, working on the boat yesterday. Um, if you guys saw the video um, that I posted the other day, that uh, that day we got the um, work down in the bilge, pulling out wires and stuff that were not going anywhere. Uh, the previous owner of the boat had a sound system in there that we pulled out because it was all rotted. Uh, there was amplifiers and speaker wires running all over the place, not connected to things, so we got rid of that. Um, any other wiring that we found that wasn't doing anything, we removed. Um, pulled out the battery trays, one side was rotted, so we're uh, cutting uh, some marine grade, grade, well, marine grade plywood, and we're going to uh, cover that with resin and some fiberglass and paint it and uh, replace those pieces to hold the batteries. Uh, and then I was down there yesterday and um, I've got the uh, the stripes repainted on the boat. So uh, that's done. Uh, fixed the bow rail and um, did one side, did the uh, port side um, fuel tank breather, um, put the, uh, the cover on that, sealed some holes, you know, along, along the uh, interior, covered up some of the uh, screw holes that were there from previous things that, you know, people took things off and never filled the holes in. Um, they don't go through the hull or anything like that, it's just, you know unsightly um, also pulled up the uh, floor in the excuse me did not pull up the floor pulled up the hatches in the floor to access the fresh water tanks just to see what's going on there because the fresh water is not working so that's that's going to be a whole couple of day job by itself just pulling the tank out cleaning the tanks out <coughs> cleaning all the hoses, making sure the pumps are working so that we can get uh, fresh water for wash down and toilet and sink if we need it and, you know, have fresh drinking water aboard the boat. Um, toilet has to be worked on. Probably has a bad pump in the toilet. Um, so there's a bunch of stuff that's going to be going on with that. So, that's, uh, that's what I did uh, Friday and yesterday. And then me and Grayson went out for ice cream last night, which was nice. We uh, got out of the house and went up to the new Twisty Treat, which has been closed for many years. And uh, we uh, had a little ice cream party. So... Trying to think of anything else here. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do the the judge yet. I may uh, start working on the Aero Chief. It's been sitting there kicking me in the leg for about a month now. Yeah, I'm going to empty the garbage. I need a sign that goes up here. It says, do not pile trash above this line. So I put, <laughs> it's all my sprues and stuff go in there. And I get them so piled so high, I can't get them out of the can. It's just, uh, I guess, hanging out laziness. So there you have it. That's my update for, uh, for Sunday. 
back to work tomorrow, so uh, probably won't be any videos for a few days until I get back uh, back on vacation. But uh, if I do start this arrow chief, I'll update on that, and I'll do a little bit at a time. I know I'll have to pick up a can of red because I have no red paint, which is unbelievable. Every color that I have, I don't have red. So, I'll have to pick up a uh, can of red and a can of, I guess, white. Looks like the other color that would be used on this. Yeah, red and white. City of Troy. So, yeah, I think uh, American La France may be the next one. All right, guys. This is uh, this is it for Sunday. You know, guys, have a great rest of your day, and uh, I'll talk to you uh, before the weekend of next. So everyone, uh, we'll see you later.